All right. Welcome back to Free Play Arcade. This is Chris Dove coming at you live from Free Play Richardson, where we're not playing Killer Queen. We are playing Super Turbo. It's the Free Play Danison. We do this every Tuesday. It's not really the Danison today because I'm feeling a little iffy, let's say. My voice is good, though. We're going to do a series of first to five exhibitions for you. Um, so we get this too. So we're gonna go first to five exhibition. We got Lincoln Stad here. We got Blockchain from the Denton Finance Clan. You know what? I'm just gonna change this to Jason, not Palmer. It auto corrected. <laughs> of course it did. Hey, there we go. You know Lincoln's dad. He actually did play in the uh, Killer Queen series as well. Actually, no, his uh, Lincoln did. His cool. Son. cool. I wish I knew some of the origin stories of all these names. Well, I Lincoln's think dad sounds pretty self-explanatory, but. <laughs> all right. Uh, so blockchain. Um, blockchain's my favorite name from the. All right, he's Dan Four. Blockchain is the correct name for the Denton, the Denton Finance Clan's Vernon. Um, so the Denton Finance Clan, it's uh, Simple Interest and Home Equity Loan started the Finance Clan. Uh, they are based out of Denton, but they don't, their players are way more than just Denton players. Um, let's see if I can get Blockchain's claw here. He's ranked Dan 3. So these aren't official Danison and matches. We're doing first to five exhibitions, but first one going to blockchain. Now, so simple interest, home equity loan, blockchain. They're all financial terms. They are not, do not trust their financial advice. Noted. <laughs> they, uh, simple interest likes to put his, uh, the di di different, different, different Denton finance plan members onto like Photoshop badly on the uh, billboards with like terrible advice for, uh, Investing, like invest in, you know, Blanca, Blanca pants or something like that, you know, something crazy. I think there's like 50 different members of the Denton Finance Clan, uh, Blockchain being one of them. Uh, and he's the newest member or one of the newest members and one of my favorite names. By the way, that was a quick round for Lincoln's dad because it's uh, the Wakanda forever. Salute. Um, so. Yeah, no, they, they just have this list of financial terms. And they, they were the Denton, the free play Denton Super Turbo players initially with home equity loan and simple interest. Uh, and then it just sort of morphed into like, there's only so many fighters, fighting game players and tiny free play Denton before the shutdown and the rebirth into the biggest building in all of Denton. 2-0 um, here for blockchain. So they were aggressive in their expansion. That simple interest would say. And shout out to him if he's in the chat. Okay. Um, but yeah. So they just all have kind of a love for playing games, uh, playing fighting games. Um, they're not necessarily all in debt. Hey. Payam is here. Um, and yeah, their names are off the wall crazy financial terms. And I, I do want to have like a. Denton Finance Clan only tournament and just use their, own, their all of their names. I think, I don't know what Lincoln's dad's name is. He has a Denton Finance Clan, clan name. I'm Bear Market because I played uh, Kuma in Tekken and my my screen name was Kuma Machine. So I went with Bear Market. Uh, Shannon is a uh, treasurer. Or treasure R. She's got the eye patch. Looks like a pirate. Oh, I saw her earlier. Yeah, yeah. She's got a badass for you. Um, yeah, there's there's several several of them, and several of us have Denton Finance Clan aliases that we don't necessarily use all the time. But uh, it's it's really hilarious when they do. And blockchain's my new favorite. Uh, ROI. That's Emily. What are some other good ones? It's it's. 
Oh, uh, arm's length transaction. That's <laughs> that's Dalsum player Ethan's. That's name. a mouthful. Yeah. So arm's length transaction because of the stretchy arm. Jason pulls one back. Yep. England. Looks like Jason's not listening to the character lock rule though. He's gone to Ochan. We'll live with it. It's that kind of day here. Uh, but I, I know the origins of many of the, the nicknames. I think Shannon at this point goes by Shannon more than Treasure R. Although we've definitely put her under that name before. Um, if I don't fight under the name Chris Delp, then I'm fighting under this. If I play Dalsum today, I'll have to use this name, but there it is. It's uh, Japanese characters and then the English, or the Air Arabic? What is that? What's that? Greek out. No, no, no. We're not Greek out. What's our alphabet called? The standard alphabet. Um, anyway, it's it says Tone P. This is Tony P. Not Tone P. But like, right, right, right. So, uh, but Tony P is a man in Japan who fought under my name, Chris Delp. So now when I fight Nadanis in the Japanese style tournament here, I fight under his name, Tony P. Not to be confused with Tony P, who's literally standing right next to me. That's that's a pretty good backstory. Yeah, there you go. And Tony P just uh, people have trouble saying I am, so Tony P it is. Let me, uh, let me say hello to him off the stream. Air conversation with uh, Tony P. So I'm gonna mute the mics and we'll be back in like three minutes. But I'll keep scoring the match. We're right here.
All right, it's Tone AP and Tony P with you to commentate last little bit. Uh, I heard the show. I mean, two three. So yeah, we got Michael playing Ryu, Hokage playing Oken, as they've been doing in the damage for months now. Um, we have Tony P here. He's got a. I think you have the best Ryu in the Danizen. I don't. The numbers probably bear that out, actually. So yeah, just want to talk about what we're seeing here from Michael. He's leveled up. Where does he go from here? Oh, and so forth. Yes, sir, at rank dance six plus one, you, Tony P, have the number one ranked Ryu in the dance. Well, this Take th that, Travis Gibbs. Well, there's plenty of work still need to be done. But no, it's clearly the, these two guys are uh, still have a lot of uh, you know edges to soften up, but you can tell they're getting, they've gotten a little bit more comfortable with the characters. You know, they're, they're doing some stuff right, but uh, yeah. you know, and that's the part of the journey, so. Right. Using that invincible uppercut there. Yep. Hokage. I like the use of normals, like Michael's playing footsies. Yep. You can see it, crouching medium. It, the, the jumping's better, but still not perfect. It's yeah. Street Fighter 2, so the answer is never jump. Yeah, they're, they're pretty eager after just, you know, a couple of fireballs to start jumping. Right. Yeah, it's not... But, I mean, granted, they probably, you know, anti-air is probably not that 100%, so, right. you know, the re reward is pretty high, so. Yeah, no, no, Hokage got in with yeah. a jump yeah. roundhouse yeah, yeah. that was, you know. But as they get as they get a little bit more, you know, uh, they improve, those anti-airs are going to keep them grounded, so. <laughs> like I said, I like his, his normal game. He does seem spatially aware, Michael, that is. Um. I, I feel like, right a, yeah, just keep it locked in. Don't yep. let him out. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. All right. I like the spacing, too. Yep. That was a good round by yeah. Michael. Yeah. It was a good um, good anti-air Shoryu when he tried to get out of the corner. Uh, missed, the, missed the second one. Good patience there. He just waited. I like uh, that was a jump in response to the fireball. It was not, not perfect, but you can see what he was thinking there. It's a good attempt at jumping in that, like, you yep. only need to jump when it's absolutely safe, right? Okay, nice three-piece. Here's done, yep, got yeah, it. You got to be careful. After, oh, Just he missed, throw. He missed that one. Yeah. Throw. Let's not regret it. Okay. You got it in there. Three, four, this is a competitive match. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get a score check. Three, four, his way. Don't worry about the score. That's right. I mean, in this matchup, Ryu definitely has an advantage. Uh, and he, you know, he needs to just take it, use his fire, use the fireball ward, to take advantage, keep him back. And Is this a match that Ryu wins? Yeah, he has the. He, I mean, that, he has the fireball advantage, so yeah. he, he needs to utilize that. And then also, uh, Ken can obviously tech the throws. So if he uses both those things, he can edge him out a bit. But um, once uh, Ken gets him in a corner, he's got to be careful because that. You know, invincible. Oh, nice response super there. I mean, could assure you through that, that fireball just as easily and yep. save the super, but he tried it and he got it. I like that. Um, yeah, typically against Ken, I, I, you know, I try to, you know, zone as much as I can, honestly. Yeah, you can't uh, get near that. Yep. Like, that's, that's the problem. So jumping is just a, a non-starter. It's almost impossible to safe jump that. Yep. Technically possible, but I'm not a task robot. <laughs> nice. Um, Oaken's fireball is probably underrated. I agree. I think in certain circumstances, it is. It might be more useful. The slower uh, comes in handy in certain matchups. Like I always like it against Boxer, just because you know, as he you know headbutts through that, you can you know counter it with a sweep or. Um, if you're a new can with, you know, standing kick, you know, heavy kick, uh, so it's easy to punish. Well, the, the thing I, I know about Oken's fireball is the extreme speed diff uh, variance, right? But yeah, it's, between, correct. Yeah, so it's, it's basically Dalsum's Yoga Fire speeds. 
like super slow and very fast, fast on the yeah, yeah. Uh, That's quite the change up. It's not quite Osagat uh, variant, where he has uh, Lightning Bolt and uh, why did you throw a Light Tiger? It's going to stay on screen forever and you can't throw seven more Tigers. His, his slow fireball is also harder to DP through because it's so slow. You got to get the timing right. Yeah. And from like mid range, good luck. Yep. <laughs> good luck. All right. Messed up the character. Yeah, kill off, kill off. yeah we can't. We can't be having this. I see DGK in the house. I think. I think that's who we set you up to dance with. If you're feeling Pyam. Yeah, sounds good. All right. It's always an uphill battle against o Osagat. Yeah. But it's fun. The victories are fun. Yes. Yeah. And you're you're, like I said, you're the top ranked ran, uh, Rio in the system. So it's it's fun to see you put on a yeah. clinic against uh, a character that you you ha have a disadvantage to on paper. All right. It's uh, battle nine in this first of five. Someone's gonna win. Very, very even. These two obviously play each other a lot. Actually, technically, there, get, there can be a tie. That's true. <laughs> We've never seen it happen, but... I think we just have him fight on. No one gets him on. Oh, this is a bad position for Michael. He's got himself back into a corner. Hokage jumping in. Doesn't need to. All right, just lock it in. And he's out. Elected to go for the rush down rather than the combo. You, we've seen the three piece before, so he can't combo. He has to keep that super. Yeah. He can't just unleash it because that's great. Yeah, the threat of super. Especially in, yeah. Is so big with the over you. Yeah, especially in a matchup where the other guy throws fireballs. I don't. I don't like the jump back ever. <laughs> Maybe Dalsum when he can just drill forward for free. Nice round there for Hokage and finishes it off. Invincible DP, DP is quite the beast. Yeah. Um, we should get some matches going. Put the chat up here. I just have the damage and open for the sake of scoring. Shout out to Mew Mew Fan and Sarah. All right, uh, Chad, if you have any requests, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly listen. Um, I'm gonna fetch. Man, you, you and DGK is such a showstopper. Right, I'm, I'm gonna fetch somebody.
Um, uh, probably in passing. I'm Damien G. Uh, help out on these streams from time to time on Street Fighter. Professional broadcaster, but likes to lend his uh, talents to Free Play Arcade. Uh, that is my de facto uh, cult son, Shane. Yeah, I've seen him around. Yeah, babyface. Sarah used to call him that when she worked there. I know, you're an adult now, so we can't call you that. So, what brings you here to Free Play? Uh, my dad. He does the pinball tournaments. Yes, he does. That's right. Are any of these your favorite game in the arcade, or...? I enjoy playing Killer Queen. I've just never actually played it the way it's supposed to be played. I've just played For fun? Queen versus Queen. And then, okay. Yeah. So there's not a lot of strategy in the gameplay? Nope. And nice. my brother and I like the one of the basketball games over there. Okay. Other than that, I'm pretty new to the arcade scene. Okay. I've been here maybe a handful of times. Oh. Well, welcome, welcome. So typically on Tuesdays, we, we get the broadcast up because we have this thing called the Danizen, which is basically like a ranking system. and Yeah, yeah, the one through six. It goes yeah. higher than that, but that's what we've got right now. Yeah, like 19, apparently. Like, off the record, it's like 19. Um, it's fun. It's typically, you know, Tuesdays is an interesting night, depending on the crowd we get in. People who have never played a Street Fighter game in their life. <laughs> Let me just jam buttons like this. Is that's me. That's me. I just, nice. I think, an hour ago learned how to do... <laughs> I learned how to do... What's her name? The... Chun-Li? Chun-Li. I learned how to do her... The lightning? Oh, the fireball. The fireball, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Most people learn how to do the lightning legs first, so good job. That's good job. I've just been button mashing my way into... You know, that's how, two now. that's how we do it. That's how we do it. <laughs> So who we got here? We got Johnny versus. Are these updated? Johnny and Shante? These updated? Okay. I'm like I don't recognize anybody on screen right now. Yep. So we're basically just gonna play around, just just casuals, watch how everybody play. Relax Tuesday night. Two dollar Dos Equis, six dollar tacos, Taco Tuesday. Get your tacos in when you can. I've been known to inhale the tacos in about three minutes, so it's fine. fine. What is happening? Okay, a whole bunch of jumping in and kicks. There we go. That solar plexus punch. Yes, Mew Mew, you do hear me. It is me, I am back. I know it's been a while. Just based on observation, Ken and Ryu seem pretty evenly matched. Yes. Characters. Historically, they are uh, training partners. Oh, cool. Cool. So their movesets are similar with uh, little nuance changes. I don't know if the uh, developers meant this on purpose, but the American fighter, Ken, is the more reckless of the two in terms of his moveset. So, apparently Japan thought Americans back in 92 were reckless. Were they wrong? <laughs> Not at all. What was that? No, we're not doing Danizen! We're just doing best of fives. It's fine. Hashtag winging it. You know how I feel about throws. So, I, well, I'm from New York originally, so growing up playing Street Fighter, we did not like when people threw, unless you were a throw character, to win a match. It was cheap, considered cheap. So when I moved here and started hanging out at the arcade, 
and people start just using the throw just judiciously. I'm thinking, wait a minute, hold up. Don't y'all know that's like unsportsmanlike? No, it ain't. It's part of the game. I had to learn that rather quickly. It does seem kind of... Cheesy? Not cheesy, just like powerful when your final move is just to throw just someone to on the ground. Just to across the room, yeah. <laughs> Ha ha! With the what? Yeah, that's true. What's a uh, dragon punch? The when they do the rising uppercut. So you'll see it shortly. Like when one of yes, them's jumping one of them and then jumps the other one and does the fist. Yes. Cool. The jumping fist. Yeah, no, because I'm so new to this, most of my commentary has been no, this is good. based on, like... I like the observations. The I backgrounds, what the characters Oh, like. no, we... <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have developed a thing here on commentary where we look at the backgrounds of the stages to see what they're doing back there after all these years. It's like, wait a minute, they've been flexing their arms for 30-some-odd years. Or the tapping never stops. No, or, <laughs> or tapping their foot, you know. Like that one guy in the middle who's got a nervous tap on his foot. Same. See? <laughs> Pumping your fist in the air, waving around like you just don't care. On an, on an Air Force base. In my head, I've been nicknaming the characters based on what they look like. So Ken is He-Man. Uh, Blanca is a troll doll. Okay, uh, I like this. Guile oh, is Johnny Bravo. I, I like this. <laughs> Troll doll Johnny Bravo. Uh, there's one of them. He's... Got the stretchy arms. Dawson. I think I've been calling him Handsome Squidward. Handsome Squidward. Because <laughs> he's got that face. Yes, he's got the face. The master of yoga. <laughs> There's the dragon punch. Awesome. Oh, that's, Sh that's Shannon. Yeah. What I've got to learn is all the moves and stuff so that I can start actually using their names to comment on what they're doing. Oh, which would be great. <laughs> Squidward with a sonic boom. <laughs> He-Man with a hurricane kick. Hit the save. Update it. What was that? No. Oh, double O-N. Double O-N. Tommy, is that you? In the chat? I believe so. Just a whole bunch of dragon punches left, right, center. So Chris Delp has a habit of telling people, hey, you pick the character I use. And then when he beats you with the character you picked for him to use, you feel a little dejected. So I'll always say, pick Guile. Because if I pick Ryu, I can just hurricane kick over the Sonic Boom. It's fine. Miss you, Tommy. So if you have any, any questions about the game, let us know. We'll try to answer anything that you want us to answer. That's called the Game Pro Combo. Strong kick, strong kick. Was that a jumping uppercut? The juggle? Yeah. A couple of fights ago, one of the scenes ended in like this giant explosion, full screen. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, because the flashing lights? Yes. That means someone hit their super move. Oh, cool. <laughs> Fireball battle. There it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, just ate the fist. There we go. Ah, oh, that's demoralizing. When you miss on your super, you whiff. Oh, 
Sure you can. What are those blue and orange bars in the bottom corner? That builds up your super meter. Okay. So to do that fancy move that you said earlier, you have to build up your meter to when it says super. Right. So that's why it's it's upsetting if you use it and it misses. And you miss it, yeah. Because yeah. you did all that work for nothing. Well, Chris's character filled up right as he died. Yes. <laughs> Sounds like something Chris would do. Or is it like in Pokemon where you don't die, you just faint? <laughs> no, no, um, you don't die, you just faint. Okay. <laughs> you just get knocked out. Shane, are you keeping score? Okay. Just making sure you're actually keeping score, Shane. Okay. Is the audio that we're using somewhat behind on this? So I've uh, noticed yes. that when we're talking to people in the there chat, is they tend a, there, to respond a little later. There's about a seven second delay. Okay. So Twitch can kind of filter out if there's anything, you know, that comes out of our mouths that is inappropriate. Right, they right. filter it out. Just like live television. Although some things have slipped through on live television. Yes. <laughs> After 9 o'clock, we can get away with a little bit more stuff, but we're still in the PG hours right now. So what would you call this character? He just seems like a pretty standard... Generic fighter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's actually the main character of the Street Fighter universe. Despite what, at this time period, they would have you believe, he's actually the main character. Not Guile or Johnny Bravo. That man is ridiculously tall. Whoever just walked right by us, he is ridiculously tall. I saw one dude who's six foot eight. There's another dude who's like six foot seven. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna believe my parents on this one. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Gross spurt did not happen. I've always wanted to be six feet. It's a good goal to have. It's like a dunk on people. Oh! Uh, what are we doing? They uh they missed a super, but I thought it was gonna hit, so they jumped at the last minute. So Shannon's actually her, ready to yeah her Ryu has improved dramatically over the last year or so. There she goes. Ooh. I was worried she was going to telegraph her super, but it paid off. I think Chris called Fei Long uh, an off-brand Bruce Lee. He is. Yeah. In most fighting games, there's always some generic Bruce Lee character. Ooh, see, no, no, see how now Chris is taking it seriously now? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Chris usually usually play the... Dawson. Yeah. Squidward. No. no. He plays a Squidward. T-Hawk, who I no, keep that's calling Tony Hawk. That's his secondary. That's his secondary character. Oh, okay. Squidward's his first one. one. Tony Hawk's the second. See, for the duration of this broadcast now, we're going to go with the with the metaphors. I like this. I like the, the aliases. Yeah, you'll get a little monotony in this game because everybody wants to throw fireballs. So you'll hear Hadouken about 4,000 times. <laughs> and then if Michael Beltran shows up, you'll hear Tiger. What's Tiger? It's basically the another character's fireball is a Tiger shot. So he screams out Tiger. Dun 
Jerry, you want to get in here? Well, my broadcast partner, Jerry Garcia, throwing the gauntlet down on my cult son, Shane, AKA Hokage, to a best of five. Is it Ken versus Ken? Oh, DJ and Ken. Oh, Ken on top of that. And Chris takes it five, one. We have a challenge, Chris. There was a challenge. Oh, this will be fun. Just say Jerry Garcia. We're not doing ranks, man. All right. I was like, I thought Shane was going to go to the bathroom first. I'm like, that's an interesting way to warm up. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to have a producer for the next uh, five rounds. But that's fine. We don't need that. We'll just keep tabs uh, manually. So Jerry Garcia, my broadcast partner, who is an, a pretty good DJ player, a.k.a. Billy Blanks, if you know who that is. Uh, the, guy, the first guy that made home fitness, Ty Bo. So... Shane likes to use, um, what'd you call him? Who's the blonde dude again? Ken. No, I know that, but what do you call he -Man. him? He-Man. Yes. <laughs> he likes to use old He-Man, typically. Round one. So old He-Man is the original version of He-Man. Yeah, Chris mentioned something about the characters. There being certain codes you can use to get older versions Yes, of to them. get their premier, uh, premier first versions of the first Street Fighter 2. What are the, why would you choose an older version compared to a new version? Like, what are the pros and cons? Some of them actually have higher attack power. Uh, some of them have different techniques they can use versus, you know, in the current iteration. So that's why a lot of people would rather use sometimes the older versions. For instance, if I'm playing, I technically use an old uh, generic uh, fireball thrower. So now we have DJ, which is, uh, again, Billy Blanks, for those who know who that is. Does break do, when those boxes get broken in the background? Does that do anything, or is that just for fun? It's just for fun. <laughs> it's to say, "Ooh, I broke the box." Is there something like that on every set, or is it just this one? Every uh, most stages have that. Something you can break. DJ's pants say? Maximum. Maximum, okay. That's why he's saying max out when he throws his little fireball thing. Our boy Jagger shows up. Oh, see, throws. Ah, he throws. Why are you leaving yourself open? No, Shane, what are you doing? So that's one. If you could take the mouse and click the zero to one. Which one? This on one? Jerry? The uh, side. Jerry. Go. No, no, what? Round one. There, there you go. go. <laughs> Hit save. Save. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So again, everybody on twitch.tv slash freeplayarcade, we are doing best of fives. No Dan is in tonight. It's uh, basically just casuals and challenges of best of fives. So Jerry Garcia challenged the Hokage to a best of five of DJ versus OK. No rankings changes, just for fun. I may throw $10 down on somebody, who knows.
Ooh. Okay, a little bit of patience. Oh, he walked into it. Why? That's two for Jerry. If you can hit him up to two. Oh, yeah, sorry. Please and thank you. <laughs> Might as well be 20. <laughs> All right, now there's some All right, Shane, let's go, Shane, let's go. All right, there's one round for Shane. Okay. Not yet, not yet, not yet. He has to take two out of three. Got it. Ah, oh, see, that's Shane's biggest mistake. He's always leading off with the, the strong version of that, which leaves you open to attack if you miss. Come on, Shane, you can take one. Stuff open again. Ah! Oh. Jerry ties up this set. 1-1. One, one. Oh, there we go. No. Oh, he oh. ate a super. Dang. <laughs> ate a super. Yum, yum. Give me some. That's three. Three. Got it. Shane thought he had one. Thank you. Oh my god, learning from defeat. Does Hinan's character not have a super? That when you're the old version of the character, you're the original iteration, oh, so no super. So that's that's something you gotta sacrifice. Yes. You get more attack power, but you sacrifice the ability to have a super. That is four. I just want Shane to try to get one. Let me, let me get one set in. Don't look like it, but... That is called a cross-up, kids. Ooh. 
So when, you, so that, basically that move when you jump over someone and you go to the other side, that's called a cross up. Weird animation frame. And we got five, a clean 5-0 sweep. I love how Jerry Garcia is giving him giving him positives right now. Oh, if it was this, you would have done this. No, it would have probably ended 4-1 tops. I guess we're waiting for our next uh, combatant. See what Chris has me ranked here while I'm in here. Hold up. Jay Pong, Wax, Alex, John Gal, Danny. Dub, Jerry. What am I? I'm a Dan 3. Okay. They got me as a Dan 3. That's fine. I'll take that over here. That's my Ryu. Where's my Guile? Okay. Oh, Mahia's here. Great. So Mahia, she uses Chun Li. Honda. There's a lot of Hondas here. Holy moly. I don't know how Chris keeps up with this whole list. Dean. Papa. Sheesh. Thank you, sir. Hello, wife. Apparently I'm playing. Yes, you are playing. Are you playing Jagger? Sandra, who are you playing? Oh, oh. So Bryce uses old Ken typically. Oh, he went to Sagat. Da He's using Dallas Cowboy Sagat. So that's the tiger throwing guy. Say what? Mejia? M E J I A. That's N. M as in M and M's, as in moron, as in me. Who's Mahim? Who the hell is Mahim? Son, you know how to spell? There you go. I don't know how to spell, Dad. So Miss Mahia is actually one of the best Chun Li players in the arcade. Oh, cool. Yes. She'll be all like, oh, no, I'm not. No, she is. And there's no bias there, right? No, not whatsoever. <laughs> hey! Dang. Caught the right. kicks to the chest. <laughs> Go, Mom! We're proud of you, darling. Evening, evening. Tiger. El Tigre. I would love to hear this in like a different language. Like Tigre, Tigre. Who else is here? Round two, Dirty Uncle Beltran? Great. 
the other tiger guy. So allegedly, the patch, eye patch gentleman in the screen here is supposed to be seven foot seven, I believe. So when he throws his low version of the fireball, he has to duck down to do it, which is hilarious. See? Right. He literally drops down. Oh! No punish, though. Cross up? Is that what that's called? Yes. Yes. Keep learning. It doesn't help his height that he's standing on his tiptoes all the time. No. But as a Muay Thai boxer, they typically tend to do that. So a little true to life. A little true to life. Have, am I just now noticing this? That Chun-Li has the spiky bracelets? Or yes. is that just that character? You are just now noticing that. So, seeing that the walk-up throw, that's that's Chun Li's one of Chun Li's best moves. Hey, boom! <laughs> how how you doing a cross-up throw? We don't do that in this family. <laughs> we win with honor. Oh! <laughs> yes, dear. Mom gonna beat you later. <laughs> you bought her tacos? Okay. Hey, mama. Good. What? <laughs> I love that she just screamed out, what the fuck? Shout out to Nate, 55 on the clock. Get your five fives in the chat. Miss you, Nate. Brazil. Round one, fight. Chip damage. So how do we feel about chip damage for the win? How do we feel about that? Is that a cheap trick? No. Okay, last resort. I can I can get down with that. What is it? When you win a match on your super and it chips the damage when you block. So you'll still lose life when you're blocking for certain moves. So in that case, if you're blocking a super move, you'll still lose life. So he lost life while blocking. Sort of like how when people throw, it's like, yeah, is it, is it considered cheap? Is it something, you know, worthwhile? Right. Dallas Cowboys to got. So that lightning legs, that's that's when you just button mash the kick button. And she does that. Yeah, that's how I've been winning all my fights. Nice. <laughs> so for those who are asking like in the past, hey, why weren't there weight classes in the Street Fighter tournament? Because a five foot two little Chinese girl just beat a seven foot seven Thai boxer. Anything's possible in Street Fighter. Again, these are all reported by Capcom Heights and Weights. Oh! Oh! And two up kicks! I did see that. We did see that. <laughs> I didn't know you can juggle that move. That was a good juggle. So she took the super and juggled it into the jumping up kicks, which takes some timing. Not easy to do at all. Oh, 
Oh, his tiger power is a little faster than yes. her fireball. Outsider 69 said, if you have issues with throws and chip damage, this is not the game for you. <laughs> Sir, I was only saying that when I lived in New York, that was a problem. I am now used to it here in Texas. I think once we counted, what, 97 Tigers in one set a couple weeks ago? Yeah, 97. Oh, Jesus Christ. Learn a new move. I mean, if it's reliable, if it works. Yeah, it's cheesing it, it's fine. <laughs> oh! I was gonna say, since when is Bryce using Sagat? Hold up. Have I been out of the loop that long that Bryce is using Sagat? Get here, Shane. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So now we get to commentate while your mom is currently throwing hands. Yes. And throwing people in the corner. Why? <laughs> you are not honorable, madam. Drinking your modelo. She did it. What? She did it. Walk and throw. I want a divorce. We can raise you separately, it's <laughs> fine. I've already been through that enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it might have been 125 Tigers. It probably was. I mean, considering it's from Rick who actually kept count. Yes. Oh. Sandra, I want a divorce. I want a divorce. Thank you. <laughs> See, kids, if you want a divorce, you just ask for it. But then who's paying child support? She is. <laughs> I, I get you on Tuesdays. Be right back, y'all. <laughs> Come on, Mom. You can do better than that. You can do better than that, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, for those who are just tuning in or in the chat, Michael Beltran did walk in with his medal from Texas Showdown. He wants us to acknowledge him as Shane and James do their handshake. We are acknowledging Michael Beltran's third place finish at Texas Showdown in ST. Yes, we're doing first to fives. Yep. See, the top two finisher in ST, Sprite Mix, he didn't have to wear his medal. See, he's, he's cool about it. Not like Beltran. He's humble, he's humble. Belcha had to wear his third place medal, but our <laughs> second place finisher didn't need to. Attributed himself really well, second in Alpha 2, second in ST. Top 16 in CVS 2.
Oh, the pain. Pain and suffering, pain and suffering. You got, you got one more. One more. At least one more. <laughs> Four or three. Very close. General Yagov, we're uh, taking the day off from Dan's. I think everybody just wants to kind of relax and just play some casuals. Yeah. Also considering last week's Dan is in. Yeah, when all of us won. Yeah. yeah. The top eight. You know, it's kind of hard to replicate that photo. That was actually a really good photo. I, I love that photo so much. Yep. I also love the photo that um, Rick took of all of us. I made him a background. Oh, the Colt family, yes. Yeah, the Colt family. I absolutely love it. And I love that Beltran is doing like a little Michael Zowski action. <laughs> Pretty much. Half, half cut off. Yeah. <laughs> And, and General Yegov, we had enough for Dan's. We just wanted to just kind of take the day to just relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. Round two, fight. By the way, I am both happy and sad for this week. Because Why? in three days, actually no, two days from now, my favorite band will be sh uh, showing here in Dallas. And I can't go to it because all their tickets are sold out. Who's your favorite band? AJR. Never heard of it. To be honest, am I too old for that? Mm, no. Like, they've been around for a while. I wouldn't say they're, like, super old, but at the same time, they're not super new. Okay. But they're my favorite band, period. And I don't get to see them because they're sold out. That was like when I found out the Gorillaz concert in New York was sold out. I was going to fly back just for it. All right, we got four to four. Man, this has been a, kind of a hard-hitting affair here, huh? It's just been going back to back. <laughs> Say what? It's been going back to back. Auntie Shante walking up. Very shocked at the... At the results at so the far? Result the fight, four yeah. to four. Oh, they it's are. It's been a slugfest this entire time. Yes. Ooh. Tigre. El Tigre. El Tigre. El Tigre. Which sounds like a luchador. El Tigre. That was actually a kid's cartoon show on Nickelodeon. I wouldn't be surprised. I actually really liked it. It's supposed to be this, like, little kid who gets granted superpowers of, like, a tiger. Of course. Ooh, kicked in the chest. It's set in Mexico. Of course. And he has a dad who has superpowers with, like... Is he a tiger, too? Not really. He has, like, a tiger-like mask, but his powers are, like, super speedy bronze boots. Mm -hmm. And he's a superhero, but his grandfather is a supervillain. Okay. And he has to decide between the two which one he wants to, like, be a hero or a villain. I'd be the villain. And it's a lot of fun. Super. Do super. She can just chip it. She can just chip it. Exactly. <gasps> no, win no. Win it evilly. You have my permission. Thank you. I was like, you you have family permission to win evilly. <laughs> Five to four. Miss Mejia in a very heated contest takes yes. it. Very now, heated. Now she puts match. on her 97 rings back on her hand. <laughs> Round one, fight! Yay! Yay Proud one, of you! And I am going to take a quick commercial break. I will be right back after I get a refill. Fair enough.
Let's see if they notice my stamina and start playing me.
I tried to, I tried to, t no, uh, General Yegov, there's plenty for Dan's. Um, it's just, uh, did, didn't feel up to the task of scoring it today, so we're just, we're just taking a chill. All right, so we have Sprite Mix with uh, the Golden State Sagat. Mike B playing his traditional New York Giants Sagat. Uh, complete with jump face, Eli Manning. We'll see that later if they lame it out to a timeout. So, Sprite Mix took this at Texas Showdown. We're going first to five, rematch from the weekend. Nice Tiger Knee attempt there from Mike B. I, I, I like seeing it in his arsenal. And a magic uppercut from Sprite Mix. So who do you think is favored in this match? Osagat or Osagat? <laughs> um, Judging from the score, I think it's around the 8-2 matchup in uh, Golden State Sagat's favor. They tell me it's 5-5 five, five, though, it's even. My apologies to Sprite Mix for not bringing out the lamps. I usually have the uh, the lamps out, and uh, like I said, I wasn't feeling it today, so. The lamps? Yeah, those, those ring lights. Yeah. Now he's our, he's our Akuma. He's our hidden character. It's Bright Mix back there, I promise you. What's the story behind uh, Saget's giant scar? Um, so 
Sagat is the the <laughs> boss from Thailand in the original Street Fighter game, Street Fighter One. And uh, he's just a guy with an eye patch at that point. And so I think they retconned it. Chat, you can correct me if there's. I believe I believe they they made it a little nicer to Ryu uh, in retconning the story. But um, it was always that he lost in, to Ryu in the finals of Street Fighter One to a Shoryuken, and that's where he got the scar from. And uh, his Tiger uppercut was not a move in Street Fighter 1. He learned the Tiger uppercut to try and emulate Ryu and win his World Championship back. Because Ryu's got that dragon move. Right, and that's that's the Shoryuken. That's the, right. yeah, the punch that goes upward that gave him the scar on the chest. Now, I think they've retconned that to, like, he was under some evil power demon nonsense that doesn't make any sense, but when did the Street Fighter story ever make sense? Just two shirtless dudes uh, fighting in England looking at Aurora Borealis. And you said they're traditional characters earlier. That means that they're the old version, right? Because they don't have the supers. Right, they are old versions, yes. Yeah, this is old Sagat versus old Sagat, so... <laughs> oh my god. Who won the first match? Oh, uh, you know what? I don't know. Oh, Sagat versus Oh God. It's a lot of tigers. I'll have Stripe next after he finishes this one. <laughs> Alright. Uno, Uno. I don't know that I have a lot to add here. I mean, we get DGK over to talk about it a, a little. He certainly knows Osa got more than me. Uh, I know a lot of low roundhouse tiger shots. I think it's his fast one, his low, not that one, but the other one. It goes so fast that it's off the screen and therefore recovers. Um, like the recovery and him leaving the screen, the firewall leaving the screen is the same speed. So he can just do it on, in, on loop, basically. Doesn't really have to change his, his timing at all. He can just ra rain the lightning down. Um, and that, that makes him a great, great zoning character. Broken even. But everybody's broken in this game, so it, it kind of works out. Mike B punishes the jumping in sprite mix. Mike B likes to use jump in light kick more than anybody I've ever seen. It's not bad, by the way. Just this, there's, here's your classic Osagot matchup. Just endlessly throwing those roundhouse tiger shots at each other. Someone's got to give and someone's got to jump in. The moment they do, they get uppercutted. Or stand roundhouse or crouch roundhouse or tiger knee. Like, he's got a lot of very good anti air options that are smashing in their damage. A little early on that Tiger Neve might be. <clears throat> so, something I was telling Shannon outside earlier. You want to you wanna make your opponent... You want to react to your opponent in this game with you when you have the tools. Like, that can really get into someone's head. And I, I see Mike doing a lot of reads here. Like, he's throwing Tiger shots. We see the game plan. He's got normals. Um... But he's the one pushing the pace as far as I'm jumping in, I'm throwing tiger shots. Um, so, oh, we've got a stun here. The player needs to take a knee finish. Got him. Got him, son. <laughs> um, Get wrecked. Yes, yes. But yeah, uh, if, if, you're, if you're putting yourself in a, in a situation where your opponent can react anti-air, then like it's going to go in badly for you. That was actually a good reaction there for Mike B. <laughs> jumping jumping uh, strong. I like it. It's a very dalsome thing to do. Jump strong in the air. Zoom punch. There it is again. So he's attacking Spider Rex's head there. Because it, it's going to. If you can hit him in the head before he gets that jump roundhouse out, then it's not active. He beats it clean. It's a little trick, but uh, it can get some people off guard once or twice. I still. I just want. I still want, like, you know, just the traditional, like, uppercut the hell out of him. 
when you see a hit, you'll see, like, it'll do a gallon of damage. Crouch Roundhouse, might be stuck in the corner. Raining down Tiger Shots. Dang. That's the round. The corner's a bad place in this game. Don't go there. Noted. <laughs> you out of here already? All right, see you later. Blockchain hitting the road. Round one, fight. Three one, Sprite Mix, the Tiger Parade. Our Texas Showdown, second place rematch. Grudge match, revenge match, whatever you want to call it. Just Tiger after Tiger here. And, and like this is this is how to play it too, by the way. Like, make them if you can make them react to that tiger shot, then you're you're gonna be in better a better situation. It's five on the clock. Throw up them emotes. Tommy Wheeler, robot healer, joining us in the chat. It's been a while since we've seen him. Love you, man. Don't ever forget. He loved here. Ooh. Let me get away with one there. Where was Texas Showdown? in Houston, Texas annual event. Coming back for the first time since COVID. Again, Sprite Mix just able to win the, the, the Fireball Wars. And there you go. There's, there's your classic Tiger Up Cut Punish. <laughs> Savvy. Mike B knows it. Crush around now, Santa Oh, we're having a roundhouse round. I don't think it's Sprite Mix is using another button. Crouch roundhouse, roundhouse tiger, jump roundhouse, roundhouse tiger. Like, it's not it's not the full commitment to the bit yet, but Hey, let me see if I can if I can talk him into it. If he wins this one, I'm gonna try and uh, bribe Sprite Mix to beat him with a roundhouse only. Look at the comeback here, he's got 10 seconds. Might be content to claim this one out, and he should, by the way. Five seconds left on the clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the thing. The 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 resource of time was running out, so. Uh, Mike just had to stay put, chill out, and uh, let Fright Mix make a move, and whatever he picked was the wrong move, inevitably. <laughs> oh, uh, Mike B at 3 2. There he is, jump roundhouse, crouch roundhouse. Very, very simple formula here for Sprite Mix. Might be still stuck in the corner, but with a life lead. Uh, some more joining me. Got a, uh, a bum wing on top of everything else. <laughs> Always a privilege here at Pinball Dan and Tonight to have the bestie here. Mike's got himself in the corner again. Let's get out of that corner. Remember what I was telling you about the corner being a bad place in this game? Yeah. Yeah. And don't go there. Yeah, don't go there. Go tell Mike. <laughs> oh, getting forcing some mistakes with the with the life deficit. Oh, I went for the Mike B special there. Sprite Mix wasn't having it. Yeah, if you can punish the, you can react to the tiger knee and uh, punish it, then you uh, you forego the mix-up of is it gonna uppercut or throw me afterwards. Along the way, with the change-up. Here's another weird thing. In this game, Sagat is so tall 
I don't believe you can cross him up. I, I'm pretty sure that it's an almost impossible task to hit him from the back of the head, which is what, what a cross up that really is. Unless you're doing that teleportation thing with the. Uh... Yeah, but even then, like, it recovers so slowly that he turns around. Oh, double KO. Fight forever, everybody. We're going to final round in final this sixth round. round. Sixth match. Roundhouse, cross, roundhouse. Nice. Oh, big Dang. combo. Almost done. Good block there from Sprite Mix. Again, the jump strong. Doing some work from Mike B. And he's tied this set up. Took a lot of rounds, but he got there. Three, three. Our first to five has come down to a first to two. Two out of three, everybody. Round one, fight. Okay. Thanks, Sacker, for joining us. Again, Mike in the corner. Bombs away. He's fought admirably from the corner. Big life lead for Sprite Mix. Got Mike in the corner. And Mike somehow catches him. Tiger Neen in. Doesn't need to. He's got a big life lead with 20 seconds to go. Still coming in. What does it matter, right? I mean, rush? No, just kidding. But don't rush. You're doing fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I, can't. I don't have time for another rush pinball game. <laughs> Went That's forever. Right. I experienced that today. Uh, yeah. Rush just goes on and on and forever. on. Forever. I, I, I played a, a, an entire song to the point that it paused. Like, it, it ended the song. There was like seven seconds of silence and it restarted the same song. I'm like, come on. Mike B taking a full advantage of uh, reversing the corner on Sprite Mix. Big life lead. The jump around house doing work. Now Mike B's cornered again. <laughs> I think he likes it in there. Oh my goodness. The footsiest of footsies happening here. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> oh, 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 and that's the stun, oh, and that's the round it. sprite mix. Oh, all right, wow. let me see. All right. Hey, if you can close him out using only the roundhouse button, I'm, uh, I'll, I'll buy you a drink. Only roundhouse. Jump roundhouse, stand roundhouse, crouch roundhouse, roundhouse fireball, uh, roundhouse uh, tiger knee. You got it all. Ah, oh, you couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to win the match, not the beer. <laughs> I just hope we can move past all this hyperness. Ooh, stun. Oh, stun. Good All right, here we go. Roundhouse, roundhouse. Roundhouse, tiger knee. Yes, yes. Roundhouse, roundhouse. There we go. Straight heaters. Straight heaters. Looking at the the, 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 uh, the catcher. He's got a number one. <laughs> says throw the fastball. Nothing but the fastball. Crouch roundhouse. Mike B's in the corner, jump roundhouse. And the roundhouse Ooh. tiger shot closes it off. We only need one button here, son. Sprite Mix takes the set 5-3 and closes it with a nothing but roundhouse round. And uh, I'm going to let you guys go because I owe Sprite Mix a drink. I'll be back. Round one, and a drink well deserved. Shanta, you want to jump on? Oh, if you want to. We're just here talking about fighters. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got Jerry here. Who else? I guess he's going to fight the you. Right now. Uh, Round one, fight. Just fighting computers. Actually, I guess you, if you want to jump on. Sorry behind what? you. I don't know, beat him up. Nope. Goodness. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Fire. Oh. 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 
I never guess what I bought Sprite Mix. Where'd you get him? Sprite. <laughs> uh, had to get him from that Mexican stripe Sprite we had in here. It's it's for a fresh cow. I may be partaking in a Sprite myself. Uh-huh. Finest. We're, We're celebrating here. Everybody survived going their trip to Houston? Uh-huh. Came back safe. Huh? I appreciate Everybody came back safe, which I appreciate. I believe so. Oh, look at that. Is that Jay Pong? Please. Yeah. Jay, Jay Pong somewhere. I think he's still in boot camp. Yeah, he's out in there panicking. Nice anti-air from the Owls. Yeah. This is, a, this is a terrible match yeah. for Guile. Like, yeah. horrifically bad. <laughs> but it, it'll be good to see if the Owls can, like, properly lame it out here against uh, Guile. Because it is something to learn as a, as a sim player. And I, I, I'm sure, I'm relatively sure that uh, the Owls has got this, this matchup down. But it's... it's that command jab, the yoga upper or yoga chop, right? It just cuts everything to shreds. There's no reason to go at him at all. You just bomb away with fireballs, reach under with the crouch fierce, crouch strong, chop everything over the top. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> like there's nothing he could do, literally. See, this is why I didn't want to fight. I don't, want it, I don't feel like getting thrown right now, and yeah, I'm to be fair. <laughs> fair enough. Sarah so getting in there. I, I think I, I want to see Sarah combo. Like, that's... Like the, the cool stuff that we see on the group. I mean, it doesn't have to be huge, just like the three-piece, the standard three-piece. Jump in, light kick, uh, the crouch strong, flash kick. Like the three-piece, get the knockdown, and then reset the situation. That way, once you get in, you make them pay, right? That, like, and that, that would, we would, like, she'd take this round if she was getting in with a combo. As it is, yeah, I was up to it. Yeah, I was looking at the Ken combos and some post recently. And I was like, oh, look at that. That's fancy. I should try doing that with Ken. With Ken? Yeah. The, um, actually, Silent Skill put out a good um, combo training video, combo like checklist. I think that's what I watched. With Ryu? Oh, with Ryu? Uh -huh. It was Ken. Well, he did one, one with I Ryu. Recently. I saw one with Ryu. Okay. Yeah, I need to check again. Let's see. Yeah, it was excellent. I mean, it had, it had like basically everyone. Everyone that was practical, I think of, you know, whether it's uh, uh, the jump medium kick, crouch medium kick, Hadouken, um, cross up roundhouse, crouch medium punch, uh, crunch medium kick, Hadouken on big characters, four piece. Um, just, just crouch medium punch, crouch medium kick, two piece. Like everything is practical for Ryu that, yeah. that you should have in your arsenal. He just goes one after another. Yeah, just looking at how 
I can turn on training mode and fight Kate, though. That, that was what I was looking at earlier today. Gotcha. I think there's a little script for that. There, there is. I, I'm certainly not familiar with it. Oh, big super there from the Owls. Did Sarah lame one out. Oh, not nope. quite. Let me, let me give her some advice. Hold on. Christmas, trying to teach me some things. That low punch, and uh, needs a neutral light kick, uh, which I cannot pull off. So. <laughs> Imagine standing there and hitting a button and not putting any other button. Nope, impossible. So trained to charge. This could be hilarious. Oh man, Sim beat Sim is good. He's got the noogie. I did great. Oh, wow. just like, oh, you're like, and I, I just accomplished that. Yeah, well, Johnny gave me that, that drink after the we played. I was like, yeah, I can't play anymore. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> and a reactionary game, slowing down your least reactions. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah. Oh, my God. 
goodness. Get me a wine bottle. They're about to screw it open. <laughs> you just wait your butt behind a machine. That's how this works. Long long. Okay then, Chris. Oh yeah, give him two boops. Chris has already won twice. Did he got Yeah, he's got twice. Why didn't you say anything? You were texting, I don't know. Oh. I was drinking. <laughs> oh. Texting and drinking, this is a great combo, right? Right. <laughs> the best commentary. He got the little death spiral. Uh-huh. I have yeah. no idea what that's called. Uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to look that up actually when you get the little skulls above your head. There you go. Like, what is, how's that different from regular stun? Chris knows like every move. He's like, you did those standing right house and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yay, the little skulls came up. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? He's like, so you're talking about the move. Like, what? <laughs> like, Ooh. which button is that? The middle one? Right. <laughs> We've been playing this for how many years? Uh, since in the womb, I'm sure. Yeah, I found it. I was looking at some old uh, Street Fighter co competitions for like in Japan, and I and and there was one where I was like, "That's Chris." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at Chris. There he is on the front row, fancy pants. I told him about it. He's like, "Oh yeah, probably." <laughs> I know. It's not even a big deal to him. He's just like, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just the best at everything, but I'm not going to actually, I don't know, go and compete. <laughs> well, I can understand that. It. It's stressful competing at a high level. Sure. It's something that you just want to enjoy. Yeah, it's a full-time job. Yeah. That's why it is like, they were like you want to take a showdown? And my, my response was, why? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, I've only been playing for a year, and... No. <laughs> I got better things to do. Like sit at home and do nothing. Or, you know, in Texas Showdown, you're probably not going to have a beer. You're going to be worried the whole time. Yeah, Ooh, right. Play, come crack a beer, play with your friends. Um, yeah, talk about, you know, anything. Uh, uh, Dr. Pepper, what was that? Um, Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy. Dr. Pepper Cotton Candy, that's right. Oh, Classic. Yes. The trouble. I need to go to these parties. Uh, yeah, right? It's like, shoot. I'm thinking, it's like, I'm hungry. I'm, uh, I didn't order any tacos. The kitchen's closed. Crap. So I'm going to have to go. Taco huh? lover. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, I'm going to go find some food after I leave here. I had some nice sushi before I got here. Right? I haven't had sushi in a minute. He's like, I am concentrating. This is the worst stream right now. Not organized. But we're just trying to give Jerry the upper hand by uh, goofing. <laughs> Kill yourself. 
myself. Alright, purple panties, doll seems in it. Or not.
Fight! Oh, God, fire! 
Tiger! 